Whoa, 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 it's coming through thick and fast. We've got Poland, we've got Manchester, West Virginia, Thailand, Australia, Germany, New, New York, Leeds, Argentina. <laughs> Woo! New Orleans, Denmark, hello, everybody. Right, I'm going to crack on with this, okay, guys? Today, we are going to do a shell design. By this, I mean I'm not just going to do like a, a clam shell or anything like that. I sort of come up with this idea when I was doing a unicorn nail because I thought to myself, mm, we can we can evolve this unicorn nail and make it into a shell nail. So I'm just going to wipe over this nail with a little bit of acetone, just make it nice and clean. I'm going to sculpt this nail out. This is very important to do. It doubles the thickness of your sculpting form and makes it a lot stronger. It's going to hold the shape a lot better. I'm going to close the end. We're going to do a stiletto shape. That's going to be our starting point. And we're going to work to about a three and a half. I'm going to prep the nail. I'm going to use the nail prep dehydrator. We're going to dehydrate the living out of that nail. Ready for the primer. I'm using high speed liquid. If you want to work a little bit slower, then you better with max adhesion or medium speed. I'm going to use shell, which is a pink and it's opaque. I'm using shell because why not? We're doing a shell. So first of all, I'm going to pick up a bead. I'm going to bleed it out. I'm going to start at this contact area. So I'm building out from the free edge first. Faye just loves having big, massive, long nails, which I adore doing. Now I'm going to build out the rest of the nail. By that I mean the cuticle area, the apex. I just wanted to get that length done first. I just need that to set up a little bit now. So I'm just giving that a pinch now to make it nice and slim. So once I'm happy with that pinch, I will then take the form off. Obviously it's gonna be set at this point as well. I'm gonna open the back and then I'm gonna take it off from this angle. So I'm pulling down from the tip. If you pull down from here, you'll run the risk of catching the natural hypernychium. Just gonna file in my normal filing routine, which is side walls first. And I'm just gonna go around the cuticle area. I'm going to go over with an e file as well. Ning, 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 ning. Now 
Now when you do this, don't worry about this stiletto being too thin. Make sure that you have a nice apex, but don't worry about it being too thin because obviously we're going to put the shell on top and it's going to add thickness to it. Right, I'm just going to perfect this now. So you want to get it nice and flush at the cuticle area. I'm just going to go over with a white block to smooth that now. Now I've just brought over obviously with a white block. What I'm going to do now is wipe over with <coughs> some pure acetone. And we are ready to rock. I've got two brushes here. I've got, I have a 3D brush. And I also have a size 10 acrylic brush. I also have actually a size 8. <laughs> So I might even use the size eight. So we're gonna use the shell color. Right, we're gonna start at the bottom. Now I know most of you will look at this and think, well, this is just like a unicorn nail, but it's not. It's similar, granted, but it's not. So I'll pop that bead there. Gonna bring it right to the tip. Can see why I want to use high speed now because look this is doing what it's told I popped it on and it's going nowhere so I'm gonna go a little bit wider now with my sort of pattern, grooves, whatever you want to call this. That's already looking really good. Are you liking it? It's yeah. Right, yeah, it's already looking really good. You like it already? I'm, I'm glad Faye, I'm glad. Because I do not ever want to <laughs> upset Faye. Because Faye moans and moans if she doesn't quite like something on her nails, she will definitely tell me if there is a slight imperfection on her nails. Uh, some people might say she's a little bit anal. <laughs> Not sure I would agree. <laughs> Maybe sometimes. I, I just added a little bit more there because I want to make sure that I've got a nice round shape. So again, we're going slightly bigger with this sort of swirly shape. I'm constantly making sure everything's really neat with, with my brush. If you notice how many times I reshape my brush, I do that quite a lot. Because my brush needs to be a perfect shape.
So what we're going to do is we're going to wrap this around. So the tip of this brush is helping me to create this design. It's helping me to lift the gel, the gel, the acrylic. It's helping me to lift the acrylic and to shape it and to perfect it. If you do not have a good brush, you will fail miserably. You know, it's, the brush is so important. And, you know, don't ever think that just buying a cheap brush is going to work, it really won't. You need to have a decent brush. Oh, look, I'm liking this already. tip of the brush and going right in and I'm creating a swirl So this is the hardest part of this design, is getting your swirl in there to finish your shell nail. What I'm going to do now is I am going to seal this with the Urban Graffiti Gel Polish Top Coat. And we've got to go from side to side. You don't want to over flood these grooves. You still need to seal them, but you don't want to flood them. So that's why I've gone side to side. Uh, I've just, I haven't reloaded the brush. I'm just sweeping what's on the brush already into those grooves. Being very careful around the cuticle area. I'm going to pop that into the lamp and cure. I'm going to use some chrome on this nail now. We're going to use the ruby chrome pigment. And rub, oh my god, just look at the magic happening. <gasps> oh my god, this looks amazing. I'm instantly jealous of Faye's nails. Just look at that. I tell you what, I don't know if you can see this on camera, but this is some serious magic that's happening right here. So this is turning the nail into a gorgeous pearly pink. So I'm just rubbing in the chrome. And I've got a little brush on the end of this applicator. I'm gonna get that brush. And I'm going to force some of the chrome into those recesses. And rub that in there. And I'm going to use that to dust off any of the excess as well. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to seal that with the Urban Graffiti Gel Polish Top Coat. I'm 
I'm just going to use a 3D brush to make sure that is not flooded too much, that little swirl. It's going to take off any excess top coat. This is going to smooth it out, obviously, because the shell is nice and smooth and shiny. I'm going to finish this nail off with some peach cuticle oil. There you are guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video of our shell inspired nail. Have a go, have a try, let me know how you get on, comment below. Don't forget all the products we've used today are in the description box below. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye! You can talk you know Faye. <laughs> so, are you not, feeling under pressure? No, not. It's because we're having me cough. I'm trying not, I'm trying not to talk, and then it won't emanate for their own cough. So, so we're, our ears have been given a rest today. <laughs> <laughs> Faye normally likes to talk a lot, and I'm normally like, shut up, Faye. I'm trying to get this on camera now. I need to talk to camera. Shut up, Faye. Poor Faye. <laughs> yeah. But not today, she's been quiet as a mouse. <laughs>